guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna read Renisha's story here, and um, I just want to I want to celebrate this person's life. I want to um, honor this person's name, and to do my part to man just build a world where these kind of things don't happen. Shortly before one o'clock a.m. on November twelfth uh, second, twenty thirteen. Uh, Renisha McBride crashed her car at Barmel and Majestic on the west side of Detroit. A 911 caller reported that a woman had been speeding down the street, struck a parked car, got out of the vehicle, and left on foot. Anish, p- police initially considered the incident a low priority, so no officers were immediately dispatched. 40 minutes later, another call was placed indicating that the driver had returned. EMS arrived on the scene, but McBride had again walked away from the scene and was not treated. The owner of the parked car, who encountered McBride and called 911, told police that McBride was discombobulated and appeared to be in a confused state of not knowing where she was and not being able to give a phone number or anything. Shortly before 4.42 a.m., McBride was shot by a homeowner, Theodore Paul Wafer, 54, on the porch of his Dearborn Heights home more than three hours after she crashed a car, her car, about a mile away. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy stated Wafer opened his front door and fired a shotgun blast through the screen door hitting McBride in her head. It is unclear what McBride was doing during the three hours between the crash and the fatal shooting. Her family states that she was looking for help. After becoming disoriented by the crash in which she must have sustained a head injury. Wafer initially stated to police that he thought his home was being broken into and he had accidentally fired his 12 gauge shotgun. On November 15th, 2013, the Wayne County's prosecutor announced its decision to prosecute Wafer for second-degree murder, manslaughter, and possession of a firearm during commission of a felony. Wafer faced a maximum possible sentence of life imprisonment for the second-degree murder charge and, uh, and 15 years for manslaughter, with an additional two years for the felony gun charge. The trial began on June 2014. Wafer was found guilty of all three charges on August 7th. 2014. On September 3rd, 2014, Wafer was sentenced to 17 to 32 years of prison. He received 50, 15 to 30 years for second degree murder and a mandatory two year sentence for the felony firearms charge. Um, McBride's death is one of several uh, deaths of African Americans protested by the Black Lives Matter movement. So, man, it's just sad just hurts my heart. Renisha McBride, you are not forgotten. You are not um, just a a statistic. You are a life um, lost, and we celebrate that life today, and um, honor your your memory, and I'm going to paint this picture um, using red, white, and blue, because those colors should have saved you.